In this video, we're going to look at a randomized algorithm and a deterministic algorithm for solving a uh, problem from basic algebra algorithmically. So let's set up the problem. We're given as inputs two functions, f of x and g of x, where both are polynomials of degree d. So what does it mean to say they are a polynomial? Let's review polynomials a little bit. So we will assume that f of x is given as a sum of terms where each term is a coefficient times an exponent, the variable raised to an increasing exponent which can be written succinctly in summation notation. We will also assume that g of x is written as a product of terms. So converting from a product of terms to a summation of terms is something that is taught in basic algebra. So for example, factoring a polynomial is done in basic algebra and multiplying out a product of terms to find a polynomial is also done in basic algebra. So we will call uh, F summation form and G product form. So the problem, the algorithmic problem we're looking at is determining whether F and G are identical. Do they represent the same function, the same polynomial, or not? Let's talk about identity testing when our polynomials are in different forms. Let's talk about identity testing when both polynomials are in summation form. So uh, we're given f and h that are polynomials in summation form. A fact from algebra that we will not prove is that f is identical to h if and only if coefficients in corresponding terms are equivalent uh, for all terms. So uh, with that set up, let's move to the first solution, the deterministic algorithm. It's a very straightforward algorithm. We uh, transform g, which is in product form, into summation form by multiplying it out. And we will call the summation form of g, uh, g prime, which is not the derivative, it is the summation form. And then we use the fact above on how to check identity when both polynomials are in summation form. Uh, we use that fact to check if f of x equals g prime of x. So let's talk about the computational cost of this algorithm. Uh, the second step can be done in d, uh, simply requires d uh, coefficient equivalency checks, so that can be done on order of d time. So let's analyze the first step. How, what's the computational cost of transforming g in product form to g in summation form? So let's say we have a two term product form polynomial. We probably remember from basic algebra how to do the multiplications to find the summation. We do the following multiplications. Uh, so we're going to count the commutational cost as the number of necessary multiplications. So let's count the number of multiplications. So each term has two numbers and every number is going to be multiplied with n minus 1 other terms in both numbers in the other n minus 1 terms. So a single number and a single term is going to contribute n minus 1 times 2 multiplications. So a, to so a term itself will contribute double the number of multiplications, so n minus 1 times 4. And then since there are n terms, the total number of multiplications is order of n squared, and since the uh, degree of the polynomial is less than or equal to 
n, or I'm sorry, n is less than or equal to d, our total computational cost is order of uh, d squared. So the deterministic algorithm runs in d squared time. And we should note that it has probability of error zero, where the probability of error will make clear what that means when we analyze the randomized algorithm. So let's look at the randomized algorithm. It will be even simpler uh, to understand, although it's, uh, it also takes two steps. So we randomly select an integer t from the set of integers 1 to c times d, where c is a parameter uh, set by the human uh, that we just introduced, and d is the degree of the input polynomials. Then we simply evaluate our two input polynomials at t. If f of t equals g of t, then the algorithm outputs that f and g are identical. If f of t does not equal g of t, then the algorithm outputs that f and g are not identical. So let's look at the probability of error of the randomized algorithm. So the algorithm can make an error when it concludes that f and g are identical uh, because f, f of t and g of t are identical. Um, this could be erroneous because t could simply be an intersection point for f and g. So the randomized algorithm is going to make an error whenever t is an intersection point of f and g and f and g are not identical. So the probability of error in the randomized algorithm is equivalent to the probability that t is an intersection point of f and g. Now for polynomials of degree t, it's possible to count the number of intersection points. So we can actually find the probability of this error occurring. So in order to count the number of intersection points, we note that the intersection points are equivalent to the roots of a polynomial d, which is the difference of f and g. So if f and t and g, g of t are identical, uh, d of x is going to be 0, um, so implying that t is a root of d. And we know that d has at most little d roots, because the degree of d cannot be any greater than f and g. So, since we selected from c times d numbers, we know the probability of selecting a root is 1 over c. So, in conclusion, we've seen a deterministic algorithm that has a d squared computational cost and a probability of error 0. And the randomized algorithm simply has a computational cost of evaluating two polynomials, which can be done in order d time, and has a probability of error bounded by 1 over c.